Hey guys, what is up? It's Mandy here, and I have an exciting video for you guys today, as per usual. I'm going to be doing a what's in my bag video. If you guys haven't already seen, I've done a what's in my gym bag video, but that's a little bit further back. It's one of my older videos, so you're going to have to scroll through scroll through a bit of my videos in order to find it. However, it is up there, so if you want, check it out. However, this video is going to be a what's in my bag on my fabulous um, Louis Vuitton Speedy 30 in the monogram canvas. And in case you haven't watched my unboxing, make sure to do that as well. That is one of my newest videos, so make sure to check that out before looking at this video because I feel like it will make a little bit more sense when I refer back to that video um, because I might be doing that in this video as well. So before I get started, I just wanted to preface this that I actually got had to go back to the Louis Vuitton store um, because there was a problem with my bag. And I know you guys are probably like, what the heck? Like, you literally only had that bag for less than two weeks. And I'm like, I know. I know. Um, trust me, guys. I did not want to have to go back to the store to get another bag or exchange the bag. Um, but it was what I had to do because... Some of the piping on the bag, which I'll show you what the piping is on my new bag. Um, so this is my new baby. Um, but some of the piping, which is this stuff on, it's like the trim of the bag, so it goes around this part. Um, some of the piping on the bag had a little bit of in, weird indentations that were not normal. See, like that little thing right there that you guys can see maybe, is that little line, that's part of the seam, so it's supposed to be there. However, there were like weird like indentations that looked like just really strange that were on the bottom part on both sides of my bag on the piping. And it was really concerning me because I had only had the bag for less than two weeks, like I said, and you know, that should not be happening with a Louis Vuitton bag, especially because of the high quality of these bags and that they are handmade. So I was very shocked. However, I thought about it for a little bit, and if you guys did watch my unboxing video, then you know I bought a base shaper for the bag. Um, and I have a belief, and I have confirmed this belief, um, with somebody that commented on my unboxing video. I forget her name at the moment, but she told me it could have been the base shaper that was damaging the piping on the bag because it has been proven, base shapers have been proven to damage the bag. Um, they have been proven to damage the inner corners of the bag, um, and that can lead to damage on the outside of the bag. So my base shaper could have potentially caused the weird indentations on the outside of my bag on the piping, which is crazy, I know. Um, and considering I only had it for less than two weeks and, you know, I wasn't carrying it every day, like, meticulously, but I was carrying it rather frequently, I would say at least a few times a week. So, and I was using the base shaper every time I was carrying it because, you know, I didn't, I didn't really know the harm that it could do to the bag, but now I'm like, oh snap, like girl, I'm not going to do that because I saw so many YouTubers and other people that had speedy bags um, using the base shaper or organizers to help keep the bag's shape and so the canvas doesn't stretch. Um, because, you know, I was afraid that if the canvas stretches too much, it's going to damage the bag. So, either way, I'm going to be damaging the bag if I put a base shaper in there, or if I don't, I mean, and I feel like it hasn't really been proven to damage the canvas if you don't use a base shaper. I mean, it hasn't, it, yes, it will stretch out a little bit, but it won't be, like, damaged, I don't think. Um, I mean, maybe it might, like, it depends on how much you put in your bag, and how heavy it is, you know, I feel like that would be more so the reason of damage or leading to damage. However, I don't think the fact that I am not planning on putting a base shape or organizer is going to damage the bag. So, 
For all you lovely people out there, I just thought I would share that information with you. So just be careful if you are going to be using a base shaper or an organizer for your Speedy because my Speedy bag literally had indentations on the piping and I couldn't even imagine like if I kept it in there like how much more damage would happen to the bag and when I brought it back to the Louis Vuitton store they were kind of shocked they were like we have never seen this before and I'm sure you know they've seen plenty of damaged bags I'm sure I mean not plenty but you know like it's not common for a Louis Vuitton bag to have a lot of damage because it's such a high quality well-made bag However, they have never seen that form of damage done to the bag before, which makes me think, oh, maybe it was the base shaper. So I just wanted to let you guys know, if you have a base shaper or an organizer, please be careful. I am never, ever going to use a base shaper again because it honestly wasn't worth it. I mean, yes, the structure of the bag is beautiful, like that it gave the structure to the bag, However, I think I can live with a little bit of sag to the bag because that was how it was designed and that was what it was made for, you know, like it wasn't made to be a structured bag, it was made to be a flexible canvas and, you know, have a little bit of sag. So I am, you know, just happy and excited that I figured that out now versus down the road when it could have like done more damage to my bag, which I'm glad I found this out now. So yeah, just want to preface this video with that. I know that was a little bit of a long story short, um, but I just wanted to tell you guys that so you're aware because I know I saw a lot of other people saying they use the base shaper and organizer on YouTube and I don't know how their bags are in perfect condition. Like, I don't know. <laughs> so yes, without further ado, let's get into what's in my Louis Vuitton bag. So here's the bag again, I'll show you guys. So actually, I love this one, to be honest with you guys. Like, I was really happy. They exchanged my bag right away. No fuss at all. I just had to, you know, bring the receipt to prove that I bought it at the store and when I bought it and so on and so forth. I also saw a lot of associates there that I saw on the day when I got my bag. So they obviously knew I wasn't lying or whatever or that I bought the bag from that store. So this is my new one, and honestly, I love it just as much as the first one, if not more, um, because the handles already sort of have a light patina a little bit. Like, it's a little bit more tan than the other ones were. I feel like the other ones were, like, chalk white, like, literally super pale, and I was more conscious or self-conscious. I don't know if that's the right word. I was just more, like, worried about them getting dirty than I am about these. However, you know, I'm still going to be concerned and worried about these because I just don't want them to get ruined, obviously. But I love that it has this light, like, tan patina that it's already started to get. And this is actually legitimately a brand new bag. And when I mean brand new, it was literally brought the day before. Like, it was shipped into the store the day before I bought it. So it's basically brand new, basically never touched. Like, it's perfect. So I'm so pleased with it. And I also inspected the bag to make sure the piping was great and everything else on the bag was looking good. Um, and also, just so you guys know, um, the piping that I was talking to you guys about was not damaged when I bought the bag. Just to make that clear, I just forgot that I didn't say that before. Um, but the piping was completely fine and normal, just like this piping is completely fine and normal. Um, so, yeah, there was nothing wrong with the piping when I bought the bag, like, originally. Like, I inspect the crap out of these bags, guys. Like, I literally, I also treated that bag like a child, so it wasn't, I know it wasn't me, like, doing that to the bag, if that makes sense. Like, it was me, because I chose to use a base shaper, but at the same time, it wasn't me from, like, manhandling the bag. Like, I treated that thing like it was a child, so, and I'm treating this thing like it's a child, so, it was not me, um, directly, like, my actions. Um, but yeah, so here's the bag again. You guys can see it. You can love it as much as I do. I'm literally obsessed. It's all over my Instagram, and if you don't have my Instagram, please follow me. Um, my handle is MandyBradyXO, and it's all lowercase. So, look me up, follow me. You'll see plenty of pictures with this beautiful baby. So, yeah. 
All right, let's get into what's in my bag. Sorry, again, I'm rambling and telling you guys a bunch of stuff, but I hope it's helpful, okay? So, if you don't know what the inside of Speedy looks like by now, um, there is a D-ring on one side. I'm going to see if I can try to show it to you guys. Hold on. That like spilling my stuff. So there's a little D-ring right there, and it's with the Vachetta leather on the inside just to clip your keys on and things of that nature. And then on the other side is the little pocket with a zipper, um, which has the Vachetta leather. And honestly, the only thing I really hold in that pocket right now is the lock and key to my Speedy. Um, so the lock and key that they give you in the store to help secure the bag, because I don't really use it, to be honest with you guys. Um, I mean, I might use it in the future, like when I'm traveling or something, or if I'm in like a city with big crowds, I might use it then. However, I'm not really using it now, and I don't want to keep it on the Vachetta, because I hear that that can sometimes stretch out the hole, like the holes in the Vachetta leather, so I don't want to do that. <laughs> So we're going to avoid that. Okay, let's show you guys some of the stuff. So the first thing that's in my bag are my Kate Spade glasses, which look like this. Come in this little, um, like, case. <laughs> um, I can try them on for you guys if you really want, if you're feeling funky. Um, but yeah, I need these glasses to see things from a distance, so I need them for driving, I need them for movies and TV and class and things of that nature, so I keep these in my bag at all times just because I never know when I'm going to be watching a movie, TV, um, if I, sometimes I need them when I'm looking at my laptop to write things because it's kind of small and hard to read sometimes, um, especially if I'm holding my computer at a distance. So I have these lovely puppies in there. Also, the amount of stuff that I carry in this bag might increase over time. I don't know. But as of right now, I'm not putting too, too much in it because I don't want it to stretch out too much. Okay. The next thing I have in here is this beautiful makeup pouch that I have. Um, I use this as a makeup pouch. It could also be a clutch, um, but I use it for my makeup and toiletry stuff that I want to throw in my purse. Um, this is a Ted Baker bag, as you can see with the little Ted Baker at the top, and I just love it. I got it for Christmas for my aunt, and it has this little gold insignia in the middle, and then it has the pink and black bow, which I really love, and I guess I'll just show you guys some of the stuff I carry in here. Um, so if I was on my period, I would probably put pads and tampons in here. Um, so I have my Mary Kay mineral powder here because I like that to touch up. I have my Zantac pills because I sometimes get acid reflux and heartburn and it hurts. So I need to take these sometimes. I have my lovely dicyclamine, which is my little prescription that I got from the doctor. Um, and this is for when I, ooh, I just flipped my makeup bag. This is for when I have um, really bad stomach cramps and um, muscle spasms in my stomach. Um, so this kind of like calms them down, slash like when I'm very nauseous. Like when I'm nauseous, when my stomach is upset and has like really bad cramping and muscle spasms, I take these to calm my stomach down. Um, the next thing I have is my Charlotte Tilbury eyebrow pencil, which looks like this. Then I have my mineral powder brush for my Mary Kay mineral powder that I just showed you. Then, ooh, don't fall on the floor, girl. <laughs> then I have my lovely um, Bobbi Brown Vitamin Rich Face Base, just in case my skin gets a little dry, because sometimes I get dry patches near my nose, so I like to uh, make sure it's not that bad by putting some on. And then I have my leaf because I get headaches all the time, and you never know when you need it, so if you have headaches, if you have pain anywhere, I just pop one of these. Then I have my Maybelline Define a Line Eyeliner because I love it and I use this for the waterline. 
And then I have my Elizabeth Grady highlighter pen, which looks like this, to highlight under the brows. Touch them up, you know. And then I have my Sugar Fresh Chapstick, and it's not tinted at all. It's the original one, so yeah, I'm a badass. I have the original. And then, last but not least in my makeup bag is my lovely Elizabeth Grader, uh -huh, Elizabeth Grader, Elizabeth Grady um, bronzer and highlighting powder. So I have that in there. So I'll just put those back real quick and I'll show you guys the rest of what is in my bag. That's like the big part of my bag. I would say it's my makeup bag that has like most of my stuff in it. And I just like having pouches um, in my bag because it does prevent it from sagging. So, and it also helps to keep my bag organized. So, it's a win-win situation. So, if you don't want sag, you want to generally keep the shape of your bag and organize. Just use pouches like makeup bags and things of that nature because I have plenty of those. So, that's what I use. Okay, and then the next thing I have in here is my camera. This is just my standard Canon camera. I don't know which model it is because it's kind of old. It says PowerShot SD880IS Digital Elf. E-L-P-H, yeah. That's what I mean by elf when I read it, and it looks like this. Um, and I carry this around just in case I want to take a good Instagram picture or... Um, in case I'm doing a photo shoot for my internship um, as a style guru. So I got to keep it handy when I see inspiration or I'm feeling inspirational so I can take some good pictures. So I'm just going to put this back in. There we go. Great. Okay. And last but not least in my lovely bag. Oh, just kidding, not last, but at least very close to the end. Don't worry, guys. Um, this is my wallet. My current wallet is my Kate Spade wallet that I got from my sale like a while ago. <laughs> I've been like switching wallets a little bit. I did the Lily Pulitzer wallet for a little while, so now I'm switching back to Kate Spade. Um, this is my nice big wallet. It's got a bunch of stuff in it. Um, so I love it. It's this really pretty pink color with this little bow here. So I am a big fan. The next thing I have are these Wet Ones wipes. And I like these because I think it's important to sanitize your hands. Um, and I like to especially like wipe off my hands after eating, before and after eating, because if I'm going to touch this bag, I want to make sure my hands are clean. So I like to sanitize my hands before touching the bag and everything. So I carry these with me. And now, this is last but not least, is a Go Macro Macro Bar that I have. This one's the Protein Pleasure Peanut Butter Chocolate Chip. I love it. It's one of my favorite flavors that they carry. And I just love macro bars in general because they're always a great snack to have when you're on the go and you're really hungry and craving something. And they do fill you up quite a bit. I mean, it's not obviously like a meal, but it does. It's a very satisfying snack. And I love to carry it around in case I'm feeling hungry because I'm sure... I am hungry most of the time, so it satisfies my hunger. So I love it. Yeah, so that is everything that is in my bag for right now. If I do end up putting an increasingly large amount of stuff in my bag, um, you know, after making this video, then maybe I will make a part two or a second part to this video. But as of right now, this is everything that I am carrying in my Speedy currently. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my awesome and exciting videos, then make sure to subscribe. I love you guys so much, and I hope you enjoyed this What's in My Bag. Bye!